Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Matthew from the Healing Room Ministry. I pray that you and your family are keeping safe and benefiting from the devotionals so far. Today, we'll be looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the chapter on love. The previous chapter is about spiritual gifts, right? And this chapter is about love. The link between the two can be pretty obvious. You see, we can be passionate and do many things for Jesus. But if we do it not out of compassion, it is nothing. Passion and compassion goes together. We need them both. Let us look at the chosen verse for today. If I had the gift of prophecy and I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I have such faith that could move mountains, but I didn't love others, I would be nothing. So here it is. I believe that this verse sums up the whole chapter. You know, in my years of ministering in the healing ministry, I learned that the pastoral heart and the healing anointing, they always go together. They cannot be separated. If you lack compassion for the sick, your effectiveness will be limited, even if your gifting may be real. Let me give you an example. You know, a few weeks back, um, the COVID-19 situation in India went out of control. You might have heard the news, right? Um, the situation in India is actually now very bad. They call it Wave 2. The pastors were telling me that almost all their church members are sick in some way and people are being turned away from the hospitals because hosp hospitals are full. Many are left on the streets or they are turned home. Uh, in fact, some pastors I know actually passed away. Uh, it was a very sad time. So lately, I've been organizing lockdown healing meetings. Right, that's the name. Um, uh, and this is for the pastors and the people in India via Zoom. I remember that um, in my first lockdown healing meeting, uh, there were more than 100 people, but almost every one of them had their cameras turned off. And, and I was there sitting there and wondering, why? Why is it like that? Later, I realized that these people were actually COVID positive. They didn't want people to recognize them. Some of them had their loved ones beside them at home, gasping for air and fighting for their lives. You know, when I realized this, um, this really broke my heart. Um, so these, are the, these were the toughest healing meetings that I ever did. I wanted to minister in power, you know, like make bold uh, faith prophetic declarations. You know, you, uh, you heard of all these prayers? Yeah, as I was about to do that, the Lord suddenly reminded me that, hey, 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 Matthew, you lack compassion. Uh, so during that during the healing meeting, I quietly and gently prayed for people. I exhorted them and I read to them the scriptures. And you know, all this just taking a more pastoral and compassionate approach while praying for the sick, right? Uh, and and I tell you, the ministry flowed beautifully. You know, uh, I, I I remember that I had to keep reminding myself that Jesus is the healer. I'm just here to facilitate the healing from happening. And I realized that when I hide myself behind the cross, I'm able to minister with confidence and with compassion. So I have some good news for you. You know, um, three to four days after each healing meetings, I, re I actually received reports about how people who came to the healing meetings actually recover from deathbed situations. Well, not all of them recover. A few of them died. but more could have died because these people who come to the healing meetings, um, they have no access to oxygen supplies. So I really thank God, you know, thank God. So guys, um, if you find yourself lacking in compassion, ask God for it. The Lord hears and He will bless you with a heart of compassion as we become more and more like Jesus each day. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, let the compassion you have for us rub off on us. Open our eyes and let us see people like how you see them. I pray for my fellow pastors and leaders who are feeling that their compassion is running thin. May you refresh them today and give them good rest. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen. Wow. Thank you for joining me today. I pray that you have a great day ahead.